Tokyo. What's up guys? Welcome to our video. We're going to show you how to hack Dungeon Quest and glitch the second boss on Samurai Palace. So it doesn't yeah, do anything. It's not, hard. Attack you. Hmm? it's not hard, but you can do it. If you if you if you're a mage, use Illusion Blast or a Ghostly Barrage. If you're a warrior, I'm pretty sure you can use Lava Lash or um Flame uh what is it? Flame, uh, Cyclone. Oh, you think? Okay. Oh, uh, no, sorry, you can't join Xbox Gamer. We're filming this video. But shout out to Xbox Gamer. Send him a friend request and some spam. Same with this tiny guy. They are epic people. Alright, hold up. Let me upgrade something so I do more damage. Okay, just, let's get this upgrade and then we'll hop on. All right. Uh, you can start. Okay, I'm starting it. Let's go. <sighs> so the real trick to this hack is you gotta stay all the way to the left wall. Get yeah, you, you have mm -hmm. to hug the wall. You can't use the right wall. The right wall will trigger it. And only one person can do the glitch. The other people have to wait at, like, that wooden part before Harambe. I'll explain it when we get there. Oh, frick. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Rip color. If not, then we can always retry it, but... What's this insane or nightmare? Because if it was nightmare, it was it could be way easier if we did insane. Oh, you're right. We might have to just redo it. Nah, we got this. Okay. Let me heal real quick. While you're attacking, you cannot move. If you move, then you'll trigger it. You just gotta stay in one place. Oh, frick. There we go. Might want to heal for this boss. Yeah, this one I can usually beat without getting hit. He's, if, you, if you can find the right place, then he's easy to dodge. I use the way to get to him. I usually take the sides because he's because that's where it, it's less beam. Yeah, you have to just go in a circle. That's like the easiest way. But it's like almost impossible to do with a group. Yeah, because the beams are everywhere. Oh, almost got clapped. You just gotta pause, like, just for a split second. Oh, no. This could get hairy. Oh, no. One more hit and I'm dead. and want to redo this. Come on, finish him off. Yeah, but we'll, do, we'll be doing insane and it won't be as uh, hard. Nah, you got this. Clutch. You're close. You might want to heal. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, frick, you're right. Have to switch my fans. <sighs> I mean, we don't need a lot of time to do it. We're just showing one boss. 
Yeah. Hey, at least we're getting this video to 10 minutes, though. That's always the goal. Oh, let me, like, switch out my weapon. Oh, yeah, look at those fans doing Dude, physical damage. Dude, 500k, bro. Dang, son. Oh, yeah, I hit again. This is why I hate doing it so low. It's gonna keep switching. Just keep switching. The most annoying thing ever. Oh no. Gnarly. Yeah, you're about to slip back again. How much is the heal? Oh. That's enough. As long as you don't lose more than 60k, you can hear yourself. Back to full. Mm hmm. I'm not level up during this. No, I'm just a lot on me. You're, are you that close to 108? Yeah, I need 10k more EXP. I think I'm gonna level up after the next group. Yeah, oh my goodness, I need 100 EXP. That's hilarious. You probably got that just because you were doing some lower level dungeons. Probably. I mean, I. Yep, there you go. Uh, so I just need to hug this edge. Uh, yeah, keep going. And what? then. Yeah, hug the left wall and do not go off the rocks. Okay. If it's a barrier, it doesn't matter. You can just keep going. But once you get around that red pole, hug the rocks. And you won't trigger the boss at all. And then once you reach that other red pole, make sure you stay on the rocks and you can attack him. At the corner, though. I'll tell you when to stop. As you can see, he's not getting triggered. And then... Here? Stop. Yep, you can attack right there. Is it doing damage? I think you have to move a little bit further. How about now? No, move... Wait, you can get off the rocks, but I think you have to, like, move a little... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yep, now you're damaging him. See? And he's not getting triggered, so you can just defeat him on solo like this easily. It's not hard to do if you can just get all the way here and hug the left wall until you get to this corner. Warrior or mage, you can do it. So if you just hate having to dodge him, or you just... Always get clapped by four rocks or three rocks. Just do this tactic and you don't have to deal with him. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Piece of cake. Let's see if we can finish out this dungeon though by myself. Do you have any I'll other probably... tips on the hack? Um. For, for right now, everything else has been patched. There used to be a glitch for the last boss, but that one's been patched. Where you can just hug the wall and the boss will like get, like it won't, uh. It will never hit you, but there's this one. There's this one thing you can use. So if you are in the left corner, like on the bottom left corner from where you enter, mm -hmm. even if it uses its beams, it can't hit you. Cause I'm pretty sure I heard that from someone. As soon as on the final boss, if you go to the left corner from where you entered, you can't get hurt. But you have to you can be fast and avoid the spinners. But the last boss is pretty easy to dodge, so I don't think you really need that tip. But yeah, just use the ancient golem one while you still have time. Because they're probably going to patch it yeah, soon. Yeah, as soon as they see this video, they're definitely going to patch it. We'll see if I can do it. We can also... Hmm? We can probably... Cre we, we should credit SSJ for this, because he taught me this. And we're just gonna show it to everyone. Oh, yeah. So everybody go uh, friend request SSJ and, told him, and tell him we sent you. SSJ underscore games. Yep, that corner over there where the cherry blossom is, I don't think it can hit you. Its beams aren't long enough. It's one of the corners. If you can attack and go to one of the corners, I think it can't hit you. Because the beams are too short. 
Oh, I'll move away. The bait later. Oh no, he got me once. That's annoying. Oh, heal. Oh yeah, shucks. Okay, you should be good. No. Now run. Whenever you're running from the beam, either always hold right or hold left. Yeah, I need to get rid of ship block when I do that. It was the same yeah. thing for the, what, the tree in Underworld? Yeah, you, if you have shift lock on, if your arm is on, even if your weapon or your arm is on the beam, it will still take damage. You will still take damage. Because basically you're still on the beam. Even though it doesn't seem like you're on the beam, if your weapon is on it, if you and you're using shift lock, you're most likely going to be on the beam so you get hurt. How much should I do? Wow, this really sucks compared to my mage loadout. Yeah. Yeah, but that's basically the tip for if you don't like the ancient golem. Oh, let's hope for some video lock. Oh, trash. I got trash too. Oh, that's it, but, guys. Yeah, that's Make that's sure you... basically it. Mm -hmm. Drop a like, hit subscribe for some more tips, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Blam spot out.